Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? So today we're continuing our resort tour series here at Ryu Hotels in Cancun. And we're here at the Ryu Cancun. We're gonna show you the food offerings here at the buffets. Unfortunately, I came a little bit late because we were doing some filming at another hotel. And um, some of the stuff is kind of like, uh, the lights are off at the moment. So I'm gonna try to show you guys some of the stuff as soon as I can, or quickly while some of the stuff is still out. So we'll start over here. This is kind of our eggs and omelet station. So you can grab anything from these uh, trays right here and um, your traditional toppings for omelets. Um, and they'll make a nice omelet for you. We've got some different egg preparations like boiled, poached, scrambled, poached with some different sauce types. We've got some uh, pre-made omelets here already and then some, um, I think this is a Spanish omelet or a potato omelet. And finally over here, we've got some tomato, uh, beans, sausage, bacon, and then you can see potatoes and like um, eggs in a eggs in a I think it's eggs in a hole. They're like kind of like inside the, the bread there. Just beside that, we've got some soft drinks that are uh, self serve here, and then we've got some um, coffee here that's self serve. And I think the uh, the team members here will use this to grab coffee for you if you want it delivered right to your table. Just over here, we've got our oatmeal station. So we've got. Uh, some hot chocolate and oatmeal in these uh, cooking pots. And then we have a uh, bakery station here. We've got some toasters with some different bread options like whole wheat and white bread. Over here we've got some fried eggs. So some uh, sunny side fried eggs and then some over easy fried eggs. And they will cook these fried eggs to your liking here. Another omelet station over here too. And then some um, additional offerings here. We've got some refried beans. Uh, we've got some grilled tomato, some vegetables, more beans here. We've got potato wedges, some bacon and sausage here too. So some of the offerings we saw before, but they just sort of spread them out. Over here we had like a, some turkey, a chicken or turkey legs with some uh, gravy here. And this was the toppings here for the omelets. You can see there's like a sign indicating this is the omelet station. It's kind of hard to see with the light in the background there, but uh, there's some of the toppings, your traditional omelet toppings just uh, offered here. Looks like this station kind of got put away already, unfortunately, but this is where our bakery station would be. We have traditional, you can see some of the assortment of the bakery options just here. Some danishes just here, but typically they would be spread out along this um, uh, buffet station here. We've got some loaves of bread here too, some baguette bread here. And then coming over to this station, we've got some donuts, some sugar-coated donuts and sprinkle donuts. Um, we've got some crepes, French toast, and this is where our pancakes would be as well, just over here. So there's different flavors of pancakes. They usually make up some banana, blueberry, chocolate, and then some original pancakes. We've got different syrups here as well to go along with that. And then over at this Mexican station, we've got some burritos, we've got some tacos, uh, some quesadillas and this is where our chilaquiles will be so we have some red and green chilaquiles with different spice levels and then uh, some more traditional mexican food we've got some roast chicken some rice refried beans and then like a chicken stew here with um, kind of potatoes and vegetables in the back here so that does it for everything along the outside of the buffet we just kind of went um, starting, uh, I think we started right here and worked our way all the way around the outside of the uh, buffet. And that brought us to this point here. We'll take a look at some of the options here in the middle here. So this is where you can pick up some yogurts. So they've got some different uh, styles of yogurt. A lot of the, um, the signs are gone now, but I'm just gonna try to show you some of the options. We've got some, also some jellos in the back too. But they've got some plain, maybe peach I think that one might be. Or some strawberry, uh, maybe vanilla here I'm guessing. Um, this one looks like mango and then we got some cottage cheese we've got some granola to top up your yogurt and then some fresh cut up fruit here too we've got some honeydew watermelon guava uh, honeydew here in uh, little squares some pineapple here and then we've got some watermelon and cantaloupe here we also have some milk alternatives so we have almond milk lactose free there's a skim milk here too and then we have a soy milk here. So nice to see some different milk alternatives for people with different dietary preferences. And then finally, we have a gluten-free station here with some um, gluten-free bread here. I like how it's all encased here too, just for anyone who might be uh, gluten-free or gluten-sensitive. And then uh, lastly, we've got some options for like a cold dish or cold salad. Some um, preserves here. I think this is mayonnaise and mustard. 
We've got some chicken, some sardines, some ketchup, and then some peppers, limes and tomato, a caprese salad, which looks really nice. We've got some tuna, mushroom, and then pico de gallo. And over here we've got some different cheeses and cold cuts, like blue cheese, some salamis, mortadella. And then we got some more salamis, some Canadian style bacon. Um, again, I'm just kind of like guessing on some of these, but they probably have some more traditional names, but there's some more salami and then some more ham here. And then finally, on the other side, we have some different cheeses. So I'll just pan over these as we go along, but again, like the signs are missing, so I know this is definitely blue cheese here, that's for sure. And then finally, some uh, salads here too. Some uh, lettuce, bean sprouts, cucumber, onion, carrots, and then some small things to put on your salad just here, some toppings. So sorry about some of the noise. They are kind of cleaning things up right now and getting ready for uh, the next buffet offering. But that's gonna do it for uh, breakfast time. So what we'll do is we'll turn things over to dinner and, uh, and we'll uh, show you what's offered at the dinner buffet. But before we do that, I just wanna show you the dining room here. So there is a traditional dining room you can eat at here, or if you'd like, you can take your meal out on the uh, kind of open air patio here and eat by the uh, ocean side. So this would be an example of one of the tables you can sit at right along the beach here and you get a nice sea breeze here uh, to enjoy your breakfast at. So now we'll turn things over to dinner time. All right, so we're back here at the Ryu Cancun to take a look at the dinner offerings. So let's start things over here. So this is our vegetarian station here. We've got a hummus in the back and a chop suey, a uh, beetroot salad. We've got an udon with vegetables and hoisin sauce and then a fried yakimeshi with uh, fried rice and then a scrambled asparagus egg preparation just in the back too. Over here is the Hindu, kind of, the Hindu station featuring some Indian dishes. We have a black bean with uh, sofrito, a lentil stew, we have some basmati rice, and then we have panela cheese, um, just kind of mixed in with some Indian uh, spices and sauce, a curried fish, and then a chicken tandoori here. And then here we have uh, some toppings for, if you were to have a hamburger, there's, some lots, there's lots of toppings here if you want to top off your hamburgers here. And then just down from the uh, Indian station, we've got our Mexican station here. So we've got some tacos prepared here. Um, it looks like this is like a fajita mix though, but there are some taco shells. We've got some uh, salbutes. We have some quesadillas and then some uh, enchiladas. And then to top off any of your dishes, we got some cheese sauce and then uh, chili beans here with uh, meat. Here we've got a beef stew and then a um, corn on the cob in the back. We've got some refried beans and then a um, looks like a pork. It says a pork shank and green sauce in the back. Then we've got rice with vegetables and a prickly pear uh, kind of stew or salad just in the back here. Over here, this is a create your own pasta dish here. So these are all the ingredients you can get in your pasta. We'll just kind of pan over those so you can get a good look. And then they'll mix that fresh just over here on the skillets. Here's some of the toppings you can get like Parmesan cheese, oregano and ground chilies. And these are the pastas you could get as well. So fettuccine, bolognese here. We have penne with four cheese and the raviolis. Here's some bruschetta with pesto. And then we have a vegetable moussaka, risotto with asparagus. And then finally we have some pizzas here. Cheese, uh, turka pizza, vegetarian pizza, margarita pizza, a pepperoni pizza just in the back there, and then a ham and pineapple pizza too. So continuing along all over here, this is going to be over in the corner of the bakery station and also the soup station too. So today we've got an Indian cream of tomato soup in the cooking pot and also a tom yum, tom yum goong soup. I'll just kind of show you what the label says just to make sure I'm saying it correctly in this cooking pot here. We've got all kinds of different, different dinner rolls here. Multi-grain, white, like a 12 grain, and then some loaves here as well. And you can use the cutting board here to cut up a fresh piece of bread for yourself. Moving on down the way here, working our way out through the outside, we've got um, probably a popular a spot for the kids. We've got some chicken nuggets and some french fries here. At the meat station we've got some a New York steak, grilled chicken thighs, and then a uh, smoked pork chop. Uh, this station we've got some fried plantain, 
roasted onions, zucchini, and roasted eggplant. We've got a plain rice with vegetables, and then uh, potato wedges with garlic and paprika here at the back. And we've got another um, prickly pear preparation here, and uh, cauliflower au gratin at the back. At the carving station tonight, we have the roasted lamb leg, and you got some gravies and mashed potatoes. And moving along, we've got uh, fresh fruits here. This looks really, really nice. We've got some oranges, some cantaloupe, grapes. We've got some watermelon, apples. We've got some papaya, and then we've got some jello here. Popular for the kids, I imagine. We've got some oranges, guava, some more watermelon and grapes. And then moving along, we've got some desserts here too. We've got some chocolate tarts, some cakes in the back here. Uh, looks like this one's like a raspberry cake, it looks like, and a chocolate in the back. And then this is a coffee flan. There's some cheesecakes here and some brownies in the back. This is a tiramisu. And then a red velvet cake. I actually had one of these. These are really, really good. And then we have a rice pudding here. And I think just uh, along here we have some yogurts as well. And then carrying along here, this is our last station on the outside, we've got a baked potatoes in the back and then a mashed yuca. Beside that we've got sautéed cabbage and sautéed lentils. We've got steamed rice and mashed sweet potato here. And we've got a burgers and hot dog station. We've got bacon wrapped hot dogs and then plain in the back. Chicken burgers here and then caramelized onions. We've got some cheeseburgers here and then just regular grilled hamburgers here. So that made sense. There were some toppings on the other side of the, of the buffet for anything you wanted to dress up your burgers or hot dogs with. And here are the buns then for the burgers and hot dogs. We've got a fresh fish, fresh fish station. Here's some tilapia. Um, this one just says grilled fish. And then we have mahi mahi. And then over here on this seafood station, we've got a fish and seafood curry in this big cooking skillet here. This looks actually really, really good. So that does it for the outside of the buffet. Here on the inside, there is some soft drinks and self-serve things you can grab for yourself here. There's even a lower down version here for the kids to grab. We've got all different soft drinks here and soda. And we've got some juices here as well. And then a self-serve beer here. And I think some of the servers use this station for getting drinks for you at your table. And then for after dinner, there's some coffee here too. And that'll work us into this middle island here where they have some cold salad preparations. So we've got some limes, different uh, red, red and green sauces for different heat levels for your dishes. We've got some lettuce in the back, some onions and cilantro, um, some chili peppers and uh, some cheese. Here we've got some cold turkey breast. This one we've got a fish pie. Interesting, really nice presentation too. We've got Vietnamese rolls here. And then we have a prickly pear and panela cheese salad, just down here. Some cheese options on the top here. Here we have a French bean salad with roasted peppers with dressing. This one is a pasta with cold cuts, so it looks like sort of pasta with ham. Blue cheese at the top, some cheddar cheese along the top as well. And then some more cheeses and finally a uh, pasta salad with vegetables just here. It looks like kind of uh, spinach and onions. I like to see that they have this gluten-free station here. So this was here at breakfast as well. And they've just got some um, gluten-free bread options here. Some little cup, uh, muffins. And then it looks like a, kind of a really wrapped up version here, this bread loaf. And then in our final station here, we have some um, more things to dress up a salad or make up a salad for yourself. We've got some lettuce. Looks like there's some pico de gallo, onions. Looking all the way across the side there too, we've got some limes, bean sprouts, some more lettuce and red onion, some cabbage, beets, carrots, mushrooms, and spinach in the back. We've got some uh, cucumber, red cabbage, tomatoes, and green pepper in the back. And then a whole bunch of uh, little things to dress up your salad like scallions, capers, jalapeno olives, cheese, and sardines all the way in the back there too. And in our last station here, we have some hummus, different dressings for your salad up top. Um, and yeah, lots of different hummuses here, just different styles. This one's a beet hummus, I know I saw that one earlier. This one looks like a spinach hummus, and then all kinds of dressings as well, just on top. There's some fried pita bread here too, if you'd like to take some of that to uh, dip in your hummus if you'd like. And then it was very similar things just on the other side as well. 
So that's gonna do it then for our uh, food tour here of the Ryu Cancun. Hopefully you guys found this helpful, just taking a look at some of the options that are available here at dinner and breakfast. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next.